Oh, welcome to my apartment. It's the Gwen and Guard DJ Self. We're here. Khalil Kane is here. What's good? Man? What's popping? First off, um, I don't know if I want to get into you or get into me first. Um, I'm gonna let you choose. Which, 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 which should I get into well, you or should well, I get into me first? Well, you've never been into me, so why don't you go on and get into? I you? probably would never get into you to be honest with you. Uh, facts. Okay, I'm good. So, all right. So now, there's a reason. Why this picture is it's only one movie picture uh, behind me. And um, when they told me you was coming through, I, w I was super excited uh, because this is my favorite movie of all time. Of yes, of all time. All time. Of all time. It's my favorite movie I'll of take all that. time. I'll take that. I'll put um, you. I want to get into the movie, uh, but. I don't want it to make it just about this movie called Juice. I want it to be about you. And I know that it's a small part of your career. No, it's a major part of my career. Mm, okay. I, I'm glad that you said that, right? Because I met Omar Epps one day, right? And and I was like, yo, Q. He said, my name ain't Q. I said, your name is fucking Q. To me, your name is Q. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he kept saying, my name ain't Q. My name ain't Q. I said, your name is Q. I filmed it too. Yo, Q. Yeah. yeah, no, Q's in the building. Like, they call him Omar. This nigga is Q. His name is Q, man. His name is Q. His name is not Q. Yes, his name is Q. He's Q. Yo, Q! Oh, it's GQ. I'm sorry. One of the names like Omar. And I mean, was it Mohammed Mustafa? No. <laughs> I forget. So, I'm glad. Why do you say that? Different actors respond differently to, mm -hmm. to well, that. Well, don't worry about Omar. I know he was joking. We was joking with each other, so yeah, I understand Omar, that. Oh, but, uh -huh. like... I really, I love it. Okay. I Raheem in the street, mm -hmm. like to this day. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about 30 years later. Mm -hmm. If somebody scream out Raheem 30 years later, you mm -hmm. know, like, that character is alive still mm -hmm. in the culture. I saw a kid maybe three years ago coming off the basketball court. He about 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, that's Raheem from Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, what you know? What you <laughs> waiting for? He wasn't even born yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he told me, he's like, yo, we watched that shit like two times a day. Uh -huh. I was like, wow. You have no idea when you're doing it like mm -hmm. that it's going to live like that in the culture. Like, Was this live. your first movie? Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. How did you get picked to, to, to be in this I movie? I auditioned just like everybody else. Uh -huh. How does that even work? Like, Because I know a lot of people, they want to be like actors and they, they want to, they, they, I'm an actor, I want, they want to be in the acting field. And it seems like it's so easy because, let me tell you why, because, you know, we'll turn on the TV, we'll see our favorite rapper, we'll see our favorite um, Instagram. The, I, I just watched um, House Party, the new version, whatever, and there's so many people in it. I'm just like, how are they getting this thing? So how does that even work as an actor um, to get on to movies, television, or different things like that? Well, What's the first process? <sighs> if you're an actor, mm -hmm. generally you're going to study. Once you feel confident that you can do the job, you're going to hope that you can find an agent who's going to get you some auditions, and then that is your job to audition. So finding the agent, I'm sorry. Finding, finding an agent, I pressed the wrong button, my mistake. Finding an agent, um, is it you look for an agent, like, uh, or the agent finds you? An agent found me. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, what was like this nice little light skinned kid with yeah, wavy facts. hair? Yeah, okay. bro. <laughs> for real. Like, uh -huh. I've been fortunate in a lot of ways um, that when you're young, you don't realize that you're getting put on. Mm -hmm. You think, yeah, I'm fly. You know, I get. No, like you're getting blessed, but you don't know until later mm -hmm. when you start to meet other people and hear their story and understand like where they had to struggle, you just kind of slid through. Okay. You know, um, but I mean, that whole auditioning process will kill a lot of people because they do, just can't do it. Do you find the, the auditioning or the, uh, the, the casting or do the agent find it for you? Right now, both. But back then, when I first started, it was mostly your agent would get you The auditions. agent, and you got to piece the agent off. 10%. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, 10%. So I had done, um, I think, four commercials, and three of them were national. And they were looking at me, asking, would I be interested in doing some, you know, legit work, which I didn't. And how old are you at this time? 27. Oh, okay. 
So yeah. you was fronting like you was in high school. I thought you really was in high school back in when this. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Oh. You do what you do. You do what the role. I, I, I got you. Know, you what's uh-huh. necessary for the role? Uh-huh. So you know, I needed to be seventeen. I tapped into my teenager. To teenage, to teenage. <laughs> <laughs> Were you older than the rest of them? Yeah. Pac, oh, okay. Pac used to call me Old Man. That was my nickname. Old, old Man? Old Man. I, and and uh, uh, also, um, I want to talk to the people. That also, Tupac was in this movie, and you got a chance to work with Tupac. Yeah, but at the time, he wasn't Tupac. Uh-huh. So, no, he was. No, he wasn't, bro. Yeah, he, he was probably not immortal, not, but he still was Pac. Not really. He he was on Even look own. at the, the I, movie. He's in the front of the movie. Because he was Bishop in the movie, which was like the, the main character. Okay. But you you, you kind of hating on Pac a little bit? No, not at all. I was trying to time, figure it out. Hold at up. the time, Digital Underground, he had one verse on one song. What that's Same kinda, song, right? right okay, that's yeah. kind of how you knew Pac's name. But especially on the East Coast, like Digital okay. Underground was West Coast. So... Mm-hmm. I knew more. I knew more about Pac. You got to make sure Pac than anything else. You got to make sure got on because set. somebody might see this and be like, "Yo, he kind of hating on Pac." I don't give a fuck what people say. Okay, I'm just I okay. Mean, every, right. I, it's thirty years now. Everybody knows I love Tupac. Like okay. that's my guy. Um, mm-hmm. Like we did something together that nobody could take away. Mm-hmm. I don't even watch the film. Really. You don't watch it anymore? Nah. Why not? You bugging? I know word for word and lines yeah, and all that. But if it's your man, and you see him young and smiling and laughing and like uh-huh. living, and you know he's not with us no more. Mm-hmm. It's a little. I feel I do. I don't enjoy it really. Mm. I really don't. Mm. I I also saw um, you reenact uh, with drama. Yeah, yeah, and I, I got the call to be there, right? And I, I said no, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go because I was jealous of DJ Drama because I wanted to have that part. You understand what um, I'm saying? So they the parts that they called me for was the parts where I guess where he was going in and playing his, his DJ tape, and then um, I, it was another part. I, I think I guess it was the scene in the house, and I I, I know those word for word. I didn't, wouldn't even need a script for it. You understand what I'm saying? Like yo, you drama just, took that shit serious. Yeah, and bro. I was so upset, man. He was like I was there, like acting his ass yeah. off. It's hysterical to me. I still felt I could have did a better but job. Drama, but drama hit me up personally. He mm-hmm. hit up Omar personally. Um, I gave him Jermaine's number. I was like, yo, Omar already said, yes, I'm down. You got to have Jermaine. He was like, you have his number? I was like, Psh, There you go. So all you guys are still cool to today? Hell yeah. It was beautiful to hang out. Like when they shot the scene where uh, Q is in the DJ contest, in the club, bro, we're look, I'm looking up, and he got the hoodie on and the whole shit. It was like being in a time machine. I'm standing next to O's wife. And we were both like, this is crazy. You were mm-hmm. so hype in there, bro. Like, everybody was feeling it and, like, really enjoying themselves. Did you beautiful. did you know that this movie will become, like, the big? Did you feel it? No. No. Um, I, I, would, I would venture this. If you were to take that script and just read the script, mm-hmm. think about it. Four kids... And then in the neighborhood, well, they rob a store. One of them starts bucking over a gun. Like, if you read it on the page, it's like, whatever. Because um, I've read a bunch of scripts. But between Ernest Dickerson, who directed it, and putting that cast together, now you have something that happens and magic just pops when you put the right people mm-hmm. together. I mean, I don't know how many, how many dates you've had with women over the years. Mm-hmm. But there's a few. That you was just like, like in the first 10 minutes, you're like, I like her. Right. I'll okay. fuck with you. Like, uh-huh. I was up. Like, uh-huh. she ain't even said that. You could just feel the shit. When we got on the set, everybody was like, oh, it's going down. It's like, going down. What do we uh-huh. do? What do we do? <laughs> and then we're on set, the four of us already in, but we get to set in EPMD's deck. What? Mm-hmm. Special Ed? Oh, what? Queen <laughs> Latina? Like, it was crazy, bro. Like, honestly. Like, did, pe- did people ever mistake you for Special EPM? Ed? No. Um, Keep it veal. No, Keep it no, no, veal. No, no. Because know, y'all kind of resembled each other back then. A and little pe- bit, but that, you're, it's a reach. But, um, um, damn, I'm bugging right now. What the fuck is this dude's name? 
Pharrell. I actually signed for a Pharrell autograph in L.A. Yeah. at the gas station. Because this dude jumped out of the car, and he was like, yo, my girl's in the car bugging. And I looked in the car, and she was. She was like, ah! But she don't want to get out of the car. Uh -huh. So, you know, could you just sign something for her real quick? He had a pen and the whole thing. He's like, he, she loves your music, Pharrell, bro. I was like... And see? And I, I thought like, I told you. I was like... <laughs> and what you put, special ed? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Main Eddie, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> It is what it is, you know. <laughs> but but it was I, back then. I was a big EPMD fan, so mm -hmm. so when I saw them on set, I was I was excited. The Queen Latifah was in the movie. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else that uh, notable. Tretch, Tretch. The, but Tretch was in the movie, and it was before Naughty dropped. Uh huh. That was before their first album dropped, bro. Mm -hmm. So when Tretch you're was in. Hearing, he had like a little small part with uh yeah, with the when game. You're hearing with Rodimans. <laughs> but when you're hearing like. Songs for the album and like what you think, boy. They're mm -hmm. listening to this shit in the trailer. I was like, yo, y'all about to blow up. This shit is crazy. And him and Pac, like at lunch, you know, critiquing each other's rhyme books and shit, clowning. It was like when you think back now, like that's what you saw, and it was just happening. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sitting there and. They, they exchange rhyme books and they're like, this is trash. This is da da da. <laughs> it was great, man. Like, you know, yeah, it was there. Sam Jackson hanging out. And then, so now after it, it came out, um, was it hard for you to, to, to get unstereotyped from that role? Um, I don't think, like, in the business, like in Hollywood, I don't think nobody was really thinking twice about me. Everybody was excited about Pac and, okay. like, Omar. Um, well, why do you think those two... Were the ones that, because you kind of got killed in the middle of the joint. Yeah, That's probably what it was, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. And then Special Ed took your shorty, so it was kind of like a bummer. Well, Do that happen in real life? Like, people take your shorty? Never that. Okay. Nah, <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> yeah, I'm Raheem. Never that. <laughs> well, well, think about it. Like, that was, um, that was a nice little upgrade for me. Uh-huh. As far as, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Being able to be social, uh -huh. yeah, that, that kind of hooked me up. But um, I grew up in New York. So what part I, of New York are you from? From the Lower East Side, the East Village. Oh, uh, LES, okay. Yeah, so I went to school here in the city. I'm a city kid, so I'm always, you know, I ride the train, I do the thing, like I play ball. I, this movie dropped, bro, and, like, everything changed, mm -hmm. like, quickly. Um, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, the 90s was, well, first off, the 90s is lit anyways. Mm -hmm. But think about it, if you're Raheem from Juice and the 90s. Mm -hmm. So I got the whole 90s. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy. Um, it was a time, you know, a lot going on. Mm -hmm. do, would you get upset if they try to do like a reboot? I don't think you can because because of Pac. Um. There's a level of disrespect there that that like is just unwarranted, and I don't, I don't see who. Like you would have to have an actor that's like pop, mm -hmm. like clicking on all kinds of cylinders to. If you're gonna redo it, you got to do it better. You can't like. Do, do you do you like reboots? Because I mean, even House Party. I, I was so gonna you say, say House, House Party reboot. I was House Party. I, so me, I feel like I'm the only person in this world that liked it. I think you're the only person that saw it. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So, I, but I, you know what it is. I like that movie too. It's not my favorite, I, I, and this is not me lying. This is this is this is before you even came in the picture. This movie, this picture, everything was in. Actually, even in my crib, this is my crib. My first thing I put up. Was this? This is Yo, before this is anything respect, else, bro. I love it. Okay, That's so I'm just like, this was the first thing I put it. I didn't had bare walls, but this first. But with House Party, it was like I think that people are expecting it to be like the other House Parties, but they keep forgetting it was like House Party four or five, and it was like so. It's, I think it's like you you, you know you kind of trying to mesh all the House Parties into one. That's number one. Two, I think it was just it was for the new generation. 
Yeah. You know what I'm doing what to do with that. Don't worry about it. I know I'm retired, bro. Okay. <laughs> uh, yo, I ruptured my Achilles playing ball many years ago. And I played for two years after that. And I really miss playing basketball. Just like something to do and like well, exercise. Take that home with you, man, and practice. Nah, I can't. I can't. Okay. Because <laughs> honestly, I, I feel a certain kind of way about it. It's a nostalgia. And like you get to a certain age and your body just does not <laughs> do what you wanted to uh, do. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Like I couldn't stop no more. I lost my breaks. Oh. Like being out on the basketball court and sprinting and just when it's time to stop, it's just like... <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I had to, I had to quit. The doctor told me to quit. Wow. Yeah, ping pong, bowling, something, something else besides ball. Not this. <laughs> but I can live vicariously through my nicks. I'm, I'm good with that. I hear that. Hey man, word, 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 word. but let's get back to house party, man. Why? Nah. Why? 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 I'm just. So you didn't see it? The new one? Yes. No. I, I'm, you know what? Why do you think the old one was iconic? Which one? The first. The reason, so listen to what I'm saying, which one? It's because the, you, the operative word is iconic. So out of those films, the only one that was iconic was the first one. So how can we agree on that? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I back think that to my is, back to my original point. Okay. Why are we talking about house party? The new one. Well, because we talk about reason. <laughs> <and that's laughs> right. No. But no. I just think, you know, I guess what happens is um a lot of times people want it to be like what it was, and you can't never remake something. You know, you make a cake, the cake is going to taste a little bit different. You may put a little bit more sugar, a little bit more butter than before. But you understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's who, never going to be the same. Who starred in, in this reboot? Okay, now you got me there. You stumped me there. All right, who so, was in the original? Kid and Play. Yes. Like, Kid and Play at the time was popping. Like, they was... No, Fresh Prince, Will Smith was popping. Will Smith was popping. Ken Play was not popping like that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't fool the people. Will Smith was popping. Bro, I'm listening. Ken Play, when House Party came out. That's what probably made them popping was no. House Party. No. Yeah. So you saying Ken Play was 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 more people, popping? People, the reason they got to do the movie was because. They were known. They already had a fan base built in. From that's why. That's why rappers get roles to begin from my with. My understanding over the reason over why, actors. Fresh Prince said no. Well, whatever. He won in a damn movie. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, but this is uh, why rappers get these. I Google roles. analysts is trying to Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> do, okay. it. do it. But but if you already have a built-in fan base. Mm-hmm producers uh, or a production company is going to want that because they know they're going to sell tickets, whatever. Yes. You know, um, over some actor that might be very skilled, great in the room, but nobody knows who he is. Mm-hmm. Hence, Kid and Play starring in House Party as opposed to two actors. So so now, new, you know, d- the new thing is not, you know, rappers and entertainers is is like, you know, social media. Like, I, you know, these these social media people. So I think that's what House Party had, a whole bunch of, like, social media people. It, it just changed with the times. I personally think that the people who don't like it are older people. The younger generation is like, oh, I like it. It was fun. You got LeBron in there. You know, LeBron's the new Michael Jordan of the, the era. So it just was a different a violation right there. For, Michael, for, for LeBron in it? Or say LeBron is the new Michael Jordan. Yeah. Oh, so you, so you, you a Jordan, you a Jordaner. Most definitely. Okay. <laughs> he said most, most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> I mean, but, but, I mean, I respect LeBron's game, but to say he's the new, he's Michael not better Jordan. than Jordan. He's not. He's not Jordan. That's the problem. I That's didn't ask that. I said, is he Wait, better? You than just Jordan? did, sir. You were just talking about the Knicks and how you didn't even wear Jordans until that man. Was and that's facts. Mm-hmm. That's facts. I, that doesn't because I'm not I'm a Knicks fan. That doesn't mean I'm a Knicks I'm a fan Bulls too. fan. Shout out to the Knicks. Or while Jordan was playing, did I ever give him any props? I was shit on him 24-7 when he was playing. As soon as he retired, then I was able to give him the love and the respect that he deserves as the best player to ever play in the NBA. Ahead of LeBron James. Hell yeah. And Kobe Bryant. Hell yeah. I would I would put Kobe over LeBron. Mmm. And tell me why. Just the eyeball test. As uh, If I'm going to pay money, like if I'm a person that actually has to save up money 
to go see an NBA game, mm -hmm. who am I going to spend my money to see? Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Or Dennis Rodman. Ah, so you can't say that because people like to see Dennis Rodman. He ain't, right. even, he ain't even in the uh, what you call it. So that, that kind of... But it um, depends on, 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 on your perspective of the game because... You could make an argument for for Dennis Rodman being an exceptional basketball. But player. no one's never mentioned genius. him as the top of because of all, all time. around he's not he's not. So how that you great. gonna put Kobe all in front I'm of LeBron? All I'm saying is the beauty of the game, okay. the eyeball test, watching the guy and how fly his game looks. Jordan hands down destroys LeBron. LeBron is a great basketball player, but just watching him play and how he plays the game and like his swag and his grace and how he like. Jordan did shit that was just like, you're like, oh, my God. LeBron, too. Not really. <laughs> LeBron's I'm not, clutch. Listen, he plays like, the game impeccably. Okay. I and he's like a Jordan winner. Jordan, too. Don't get it twisted. I just want you. I'm not a, a I'm not Jordan LeBron dunk LeBron. or a LeBron dunk? I like a Jordan dunk. Right? I'm with you. Right? Wow. I'm with you. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Answer the question. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. I'm, I'm with saying, you. like, even Kobe, like, uh -huh. you know, same thing. Mm -hmm. Come on, Kobe's last game, what do you have? 67? So like, how many points? 61? Uh, yeah, he had his did. final game. They probably let him do that, though. I watched the game. They did not. Okay. <laughs> they did not. Uh -huh. he's, he's a fake basketball fan. Yeah, I'm not too much. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know too much. In, but I, I do know about Jordan and, Le you know, I'm, I'm not. But even person. just watching the game, I, I would rather watch Kobe play just how he plays the game, what he does and how he does it mm -hmm. than watch LeBron. Like LeBron's going to get you a W and do it in, he, in all facets of the game. Mm -hmm. He's solid. His numbers speak to that. But I would rather watch Jordan play. I would rather watch Kobe play. You know, I would rather watch AI play. Like, you know, just... How People they do forget it? about Iverson too. Yo, AI was nice. People do forget about Iverson. Yeah, culturally changed the game. Yo, and Magic Johnson. I back to drama. Oh, back Magic to drama. Uh, yeah, Magic. When I first moved to Haters LA, going to say it's a it's a, a fake um, um, <laughs> signing thing, but Magic did sign it. He ain't signed it especially for me. Signed like but 10 he was Magic balls. was one of the first yeah. first. <laughs> First celebrities I met when I got to L.A. And I was yeah. shocked at how... You was with I, him in the brothel? How No. Nah, because he was Raheem was, yeah, from was Juice. I've, I've actually never been to a brothel. No? But just how? having magic... you Raheem from Juice? Like, hey, but just never been to a he brothel. He used okay. to be in a brothel. He's Raheem from Juice. Come on now. Facts. Thank you. But I was shocked at how I fanboyed out when, when Magic came. Hey, little man, what's up? He gave me a pound, gave me a hug, and I was just kind of like, oh, shit, that's Magic Johnson. That's crazy. I'm a huge fan. Like, watching Magic play the game, I would rather watch Magic play than LeBron. So why you didn't put uh, Magic over Jordan? Because Jordan, even, even with that being the argument, I would rather watch Jordan play over Magic. Over Magic. And they played each other, too, right? Yes. Uh, and Magic spanked Jordan. Well, no, Jordan Jordan kind of took the league over from Magic and uh -huh. Bird. So yeah, he did. Who I just want to see your reaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> who, who got the spank in there? But, <laughs> yeah, but, right. I mean, Magic will tell you himself how nice Jordan was. Jordan was, right? Yeah. So, so now, after Juice, this is your first thing. What's ne What was next for, for Khalil? I think I did a film called Renaissance Man. After that, with mm -hmm. Danny DeVito, Penny Marshall from Laverne and Shirley. Penny Marshall mm -hmm. directed it, um, but she directed Big. She directed A Preacher's Wife. She directed, you know, um, Penny knew everybody. So I'm in that movie. Um, Gregory Hines, who I learned a ton from, um, like a great, great mentor mm -hmm. and a hugely talented human being. Um, Mark Wahlberg was in that film. Mm -hmm. Kadeem Hardison, like, yeah, there was some heads. Like, yeah. What what role um, in your career, I want to get to at more after that, that you feel that you should have, you wanted, but you didn't get? Oh, shit. There's two that, that hurt bad. Romeo and Juliet with Leo DiCaprio. Okay. Um, John Leguizamo was in that. And what uh, would you have played? I ain't see that movie, so I don't know if that that would have been that I bad. I can't remember. For you. I can't remember the actors. No, it was a huge movie. 
Oh, that and, must and have was, slipped by me. No, and I was I was down to the wire. Um, Mercutio. Huh. Harold's cool as hell, but he got the role. Um, but um, damn, who's the director of that movie? Big time director. Uh, help me out. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, oh, Baz? Baz Luhrmann. Oh, Baz Luhrmann. So, no, so I'm like in the, in the final callbacks. He's showing me like storyboards for the film, pictures of like these dope guns that they had that he had made for the. Like, I was like, I'm getting this. Now, when Romeo's cr crew, Mercutio's like the oldest one. And Mercutio dies because he steps in for Romeo and fights for him and ends up getting killed. Mm -hmm. But, like, out of his crew, Mercutio's, like, the baddest one. Mm. He's, like, the oldest. He's the fighter. He, you know, he holds it down. So I came in with some street shit for Mercutio and was killing it. Like, three callbacks. I'm like, I'm booking this huge movie. And then I see what Harold did in the movie. He gets hired. There's a party, he's cross-dressing, he's like in this, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, so either Baz Luhrmann wanted that and like changed course because he was eating up all the hood shit I was doing mm -hmm. or Harold brought that in and blew and everybody's said, mind. They, and they like, said, that's oh, what I want. shit, yeah. So you ever been on an audition and be like, damn, this nigga here, damn, I'm gonna lose because he good. No, you, uh, the other film, remember the Titans. Okay, I, I remember that movie, okay. And I literally got the call that I got the role. Mm -hmm. And all I had to do was for uh, Jerry Bruckheimer to sign off, and the role was mine. Congratulations. Got a call from the director, got a call from my agent. I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wood Harris, the role Wood Harris had. And um, Jerry Bruckheimer said no, because it was a white black thing. Okay. Jerry Bruckheimer was like, I want somebody dark. I'm like, I guess, because he was like, nah. And that's what that's the first Cru time it Dude, went against you. Right? It. It was, <laughs> it's hard, it's hard to take. Um, you know, but you deal with it, mm -hmm. you know. But I mean, people, ah, oh, you get the next one. But you already signed your deal. You know how much money you just lost? You know, <laughs> until Washington started, and it was just like, oh man, fuck. Um, those two. Or two mm. that were like, okay. oh, and what? What's the role with Alan Payne, Jada Pinkett, L Jason's lyric, Jason's lyric, mm -hmm. and my man, um, Bob, Bob, Bob Woodbine, yeah, Bokeem Woodbine, Bokeem Woodbine plays Al Payne's brother. Mm -hmm. How the hell I'm not gonna play Alan Payne's younger brother? How? <laughs> Tell me how. And again, I'm in the mix. They're bringing me back, and then I was like. What? Ha! I was like, that's crazy. All right, cool, whatever. Bokeem will buy. Bokeem, you, 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 like he's like nice. a like a famous unknown. I don't know why. It's like he's like a famous unknown guy. But within the community, with uh, amongst his peers, like yeah, that's why I said a famous unknown. Like you know, what I'm saying it's just like it's like he's kind of like weird. It's like that guy. But that's most black actors, unless mm. you're one of those elites, which is only a handful. Mm -hmm. I could, I mean, I love it when somebody says, oh, shit, that's Khalil Kane. Like, I, mm -hmm. excited, as opposed to, oh, that's, um, it's called Snap Famous. You're, um. Yo, I'm Snap Famous, kid. Word, a lot of times people be like, no, yo, I'm I know you from right. some, I'm going to start using that. Yo, I'm uh, Snap uh, Famous. Uh, what the? I'm oh, Snap shit, Famous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank bro, you. I got to give you some money for that. that. All good. I'll All take right. you. <laughs> Snap Famous. Yeah, you is. Yo, I know you from somewhere. Okay. Snap Can I get a picture. <laughs> That's what I'm starting to say. Y'all know great adventure. Remember when you was there? <laughs> All right, so now what's the next 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 movie that you did now? What's the third? It, was Jones. it just movies or it was No, nah, it was just movies at first. Okay. Yeah. The juice, I did Renaissance Man, which was dope. Um then then Love, Love Jones. Jones. Yeah. I don't remember you in Love Jones. Would you have like a little small part or something? There is no such thing as a small part, bro. That's what that's what I guess that's what they say to actors when they got like a little small part. They like, say there's no such thing. Oh, that's what they try to. Okay, understood. Well, then again, you could make a small part into a big, a big thing. You're right. Okay, that's a fact. To All this right. day, people still say I'm going out for some motherfucking toasted oats. 
So don't fuck with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Facts, okay. All right. <laughs> So then after that, um, did you do a television show? Yo, and, and I got to work with Nia Long. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go directly to camera. Nia, what's up? Yo, still love you, boo. You got, you got a chance to kiss her in the yeah, mouth? Yeah, that was my first, that was our first day of shooting. But. You slipped the tongue in there or no? But. Yeah, but, you did. Look. You had um, to practice all camera? Ted Witcher, the director, set it up. He goes, look, I need you to meet Nia and I want y'all to hang out a little bit before we start shooting in Chicago. And we took in the, L.A. You took no, the south he, side? He, called, he called her up. I came over to the crib. She cooked dinner. It was her and her mom. You went to her crib? Yeah, her and her oh, mom. She had her mom. You was mad. The mom no, was No, I there. wasn't. Keep her mom was fine, bro. Oh, so you tried to back the mom. No, but I'm just saying, like, you can look at the mom and tell, like, how she's going to, you know, mature. Nia Lo oh, her mom's was crazy fine, bro. It was, mm -hmm. it was impressive. You told the moms that? Or Hell you just, yeah. Or you did? You was like, yo, you fine. Yes. And what she said? Okay, Thank young you. fella. Nah, she was, she, was, she, was, she was thoroughly, you know. Okay. Thoroughly charmed. So now y'all hang out. Yeah. We did had you a kiss her night. that night? No. No. The first time you kissed was on camera? No. Back then, she was dating Chris Webber. Oh, okay. basketball player. So she didn't cheat? Nah. Okay. So you only kissed her on camera? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So you didn't like gas up like, yo, we got to kiss a little bit? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chris Webber was there too? Or nah. Not? Oh. I would have been hyped to meet Chris Webber. Like, that would have been cool. Nah, but then you wouldn't have got the, the real kiss. Then she was like, yo, he's jacking my man. No, bro. I was getting paid to do that. So okay. was she. So I knew I was getting it anyway. It was all good. But, but it would have been nice to meet Chris I Webber. I think you're lying to me. You seem like a guy that don't kiss and tell. Absolutely not. Does it seem like, like you did, you know... I've been in the out? business for 30 years. Have you ever heard a story about me talking about some chick that I worked with that I've no. bagged? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you seem like you like sneaky man. No, nah, my mama raised me right there. So you think so. that it's no, it's absolutely no reason for a guy to kind of like kiss and tell? Why? Well, sometimes it's your truth. Okay, but we know that. No, we don't. If you don't tell, how no, are we going to know? But as, as a person, <laughs> Hello? I know that that's my truth, but it's not only mine. You're talking about a shared experience. So without having that woman, that particular woman in the space to co-sign that event, I think it's a little bit disrespectful to speak on that. Do you think that's the, on both ends? Yes. Okay. So a woman shouldn't kiss and tell neither. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Got you. As long as it's as long as it's shared, okay, I, I got you. I'm, I agree. I mean, it's interesting how how you go out into the world and and you treat people with respect, and mm -hmm. strangely enough, you get respect back. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird how that happens, but kind of works out that way. <laughs> so after that, now, right after after we do uh, Love Jones, what's what's next? Damn, bro, I think I I think I did a film called Zoo Man. I for definitely Showtime. don't remember Zoom Man. It was for Showtime. It was an original film for Showtime. It was a remake of the play uh, Zoom Man and the Sign, written by Charles Fuller. Um, iconic. It's part of the, iconic. It's part. It's part of of the the black canon of Zoom uh, Man of American black American theater. Yes, it's part of the canon. Charles Fuller wrote. A soldier story, like he, Zoo Man and the Sign was. Yeah, but Zoo Man and the Soldier Story, I don't know. So uh, let me ask so you. So I'll tell you this: Do you know who Giancarlo Esposito is? Yeah, the, the name sound familiar. Esposito, the last name, it do sound familiar. Uh, do you, did you see the last episode of The Mandalorian? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Giancarlo Esposito is. is yeah, teach is, me. Is, Put is, me on. Is, is a renowned actor. Um, and he he was the first actor to play Zoo Man in Zoo Man and the Sun. And and for for young black males who are coming up as actors and are trying to hone their craft, they want to learn a monologue, mm -hmm. learn a monologue from Zoo Man. If you come in and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do a monologue from Zoo Man and the Sun, the casting director, everybody that's there will sit up because they know they're about to get hit with with either you you gotta you gotta. 
like be able to handle that to do it. Mm -hmm. So either it's going to be amazing or this actor's about to fall on his ass. So, did you, you know. ever take a, a a gig that you, you it was just like uh, I, I need the money for Color Girls? Okay, I didn't see that movie neither, but. I, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't better than House Party to reboot. It was better than House Party. Okay. <laughs> um, but but um, Enzizaki Shange wrote the play mm -hmm. for Colored Girls. And again, part of the black canon of American theater, that piece. So for Tyler Perry to do it, I was a little um, apprehensive about it. You don't like Tyler? You don't like no, him? No, I mean, Tyler, cool. Tyler, Tyler Perry. I've never seen amazing. you in none of his movies. For colored girls, I'm talking about like like the the Medea joints. Nah, I don't, I don't really. That's, that's not, what I'm saying. That's not really my wheelhouse, though. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? Have you seen me in any films like that? Like that's I, what I'm saying. I, I've yeah, never seen. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out yeah, why. Just cause some some things you're good at, you got to know what you're good at and what you're not good at. So mm -hmm. so, it's sort of Medea. You ever got approached to do one of those movies? No. Uh, you look like you'd be I right in that. Sure, but who wants to be I? Right? You know, you... Ooh, I forgot you from New York. True. That's good, kid. That was a New York fire back. Yeah. Yeah, it was. But doing for colored girls, the male roles in all the male roles were just heinous, bro. The shit we were doing was, was kind of dark. So wasn't kind of interested in doing that either. But literally... Certain times in the industry, I got a call from my agent and was like, look, what's popping right now, if you want to do a movie this year, mm -hmm. take this role because there's not a whole lot going on after this for the rest of the year, honestly, letting you know. I was like, all right, sign a contract, let's go. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, um, and, and it turned out to be great because, like, Whoopi Go I had scenes with Whoopi Goldberg. Like, I always wanted to work with her. Mm -hmm. Um. Janet Jackson was in the movie. Uh, I, I've always wanted to meet Janet. Um, when you do movies with like these bigger artists, do do you act like you like like you know on the same level as them, or do you be like, oh snap, or or do you, do you go up to them and be like, yo, let me get your autograph, or let me take but a who, picture? But who 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 says what the levels are? Who's who's the person? That's you just the did just now. You was like, yo. I always wanted to work with Whoopi Goldberg, so you just—that's admiration. Like, that's not. But me. you said but Whoopi not, Goldberg. Yeah, but that's not me saying that I think Whoopi's at a higher level than me. All right, so a, I, I, if I don't know if I use that word higher level, so when I say that meaning, and and popularity, sometimes that's who's to say popularity and accolades, body of work, accolades, body. accolades. Yes. I mean, Whoopi's so now got him all Oscar. Yes. Emmy. To, you know exactly yeah. so now you with her do you say yo let me get a you know yo let me take a picture no so no, or do I, you I, act cool like is that that's how you supposed to act cool no i'm just excited to, to to sort of be able to check that off of my bucket list and be able to say i've but done on that. set you don't or like behind the scenes or something you don't none of that uh, got work to do um, i got to change a little bit then cuz one day right i i'm in the music business right and i saw a diddy for the first time, right? And I was like, oh my God, it looked like he had like a light around him. Like you ever saw um, um, uh, Last Dragon? And when Show Enough came, he had the light around. That's what Diddy looked like. He was just like, oh. I said, oh snap, that's Diddy. Yo, Diddy, let me take a picture with you. I did that. And I wasn't ashamed of nothing. I was no, just like. you don't need to be ashamed. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying to you. Like, I mean, why there's, would been, you, there's been. That's Whoopi Goldberg. Who have I asked? Can I get it? What I if one of her place? locks fell? Would you like pick it up and Hell put it in yeah, the bag? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Uh, at least you would do that. Okay. You know, you know who I asked for a picture? Andre 3000. Mm. I saw him well, at lunch. That's a different feel from you, though. I saw him at lunch and, and like I was with my lady and. He was playing the flute? Nah, he was just oh. chilling, having okay. lunch. But I saw pictures of that. What's up with the flute? The flute? I don't know. He just yeah, probably like playing the flute. Flute, so yeah, yeah, it's a strange flute. Uh -huh. but whatever. <laughs> but she's never... Oh, she's been with me for 12 years. She's never seen me be like, I need to go get this picture. She uh -huh. was like, where are you going to go? With I was like, I got to go ask. So I went over. And he was like, Andre 3000, who I was. He was like, oh, shit, what's up? Let's, yeah, let's get this. I was, was kind of fly. That was exciting. So he wanted a picture with you more than you wanted. No, to... I don't know about that. But, okay, but you know, it was it, he was one of those people that definitely. So you, so you feel that he had the, he had the, the soul glow, you know that high the pro glow. glow. The glow, he had it, he had it. Yeah, I saw him in the you know what I'm saying. I had to go over yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So do do you think that is is, is ever a time where an uh, actor 
sees one of their idols or someone that they know has big um, accolades and they're on set with them, should they approach them and give them flowers or just play it cool? If you get, I, I think it's always good to give somebody their flowers okay. if you have flowers for them. Okay. Um, when I did that film, Zoo Man, uh, Lou Gossett Jr. and Charles Dutton were also in that film. Mm -hmm. And you um, took no pictures with them? No, but I showed That's up. That's crazy. Like, I you got pictures up, with all these people and you don't got no pictures showed, with them. But I you don't up. feel funny now? Like, no, you walking around like that, I don't got no pictures with them? I showed up three hours early. Okay. One day, and the director, Liani Chazo. Oh, Khalil, he, he goes, wait a minute, early. You're not supposed to be here till tonight. I said, I know. Mm -hmm. He goes, well, what are you? I said, you see who that is? That's Lou Gossett. That's Charles Dutton. I said, I'm going to sit right here and learn as much as I can. He was like, good, sit, learn. It's just amazing. <laughs> you know, I mean, in it schools in, bro. Like, uh -huh. That's the opportunity. That's, you know, as, instead of like Lou Gossett can't get a picture. No, I'm going to chill and I'm going to soak up as much all that magic as I possibly can because they were but, killing So it. now you did it from afar, but you didn't, You in your mind, you didn't say, dang, let me go over there. We chopped it up. We talked. Oh, you did? I okay. asked questions. Yeah, you got to chop it up. Yeah, okay. you uh -huh. know. Um, like, I really I really knew it was an opportunity for me to learn. Um, so, I mean, even, like, working with Gregory Hines, like, ask questions, soak it up, watch, pay attention, mm -hmm. you know? Um, th that's it. it and be, <laughs> be gracious. Okay. You know, um, like you said, as opposed to asking for a picture, I want Whoopi Goldberg to walk away and say, yeah, I worked with Khalil Kane. He was lovely. Um, like Kerry Washington was in that film. When I would see her, I would say hi. And we would chat a little bit. But then, you know, two years later, I saw her at a show on Broadway and she stopped and took pictures with my family and, and was like really, because she remembered you know, our interactions that she was filming of Color Girls. Yeah. So, so sometimes you should just play it cool. That's what you're saying. Be you, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, me, it, I was me. I was like, yo, that's Diddy. Now, I, it's just like, whatever. But the first time, oh my God, he came, he was like, he came like, he like, he was dancing coming in the bill. I forgot what, I think it was like a Black Rob album released by yourself. Like, yeah, you know wow. what I'm saying? It was something like that. And I was just like, wow, that's Diddy. You know what I mean? So I just felt that way. But you just you, you did television now. Oh, Pam Greer. Pam Greer. I did a film called Bones with Snoop Dogg. I Pam remember Greer. Bones. That's like the yeah, horror film yeah, joint, right? Yeah, Why well, everything gotta be little that I do, bro. I didn't say little, I said that was like a horror film. That's what nah, I said. That's not what you said, baby. I did say that. I said that was like a horror film. I didn't say little. I said that's like a horror film. Yeah, you can play it back. I said that's like a horror I film. I don't know. I did. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm telling you, be like Vancouver, we were there three months, and the first time I walked in a makeup trail, and Pam, Pam Greer, sitting mm -hmm. right there. I didn't ask for a picture, but I did. I got a little caught up a little bit. You should have took the picture there. I was like that too, right? Because, but um, I got the film, bro. Anybody, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, like they just said, run the tape back. I got, I got evidence, you know. Mm, I would, I, that Love, happened to Love me. Jones, the film Love Jones opens. The film opens with me and Neil on kissing. That's mm -hmm. how the movie opens. Like, it, like, I want to. And you only got to kiss her on camera. That's crazy, though. But I got to kiss her. That's a fact. Okay. <laughs> 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 I got the, you did television now. Yeah. Right? The, the, what was it? Was it Girlfriends? Yeah. Girlfriends, right? Yeah. So, to me, that was a, 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 another iconic moment for you also. Big Girlfriends. Time. Yeah, bro. Right? Now, how was that being on Girlfriends? <laughs> Quite possibly my favorite job all time. Okay. Tell me why. Because the money was good and, and the... The ladies were amazing. Like, like from top to bottom, like Mara Brock Akil, who created the show, okay, is is brilliant, um, beautiful. But she's like, how like, did you even get picked to be on that show? I auditioned just like everybody else. People okay. think like it, it's hard, man. Like you, you so have nobody to, like let you skip the line or nothing like that. No, like, no. Oh. And I've been here for thirty years, and I'm mm -hmm. still like, there's, 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 I think there's honor. Um, you know, in, in, in having that sort of 
stick to itiveness. You know what I mean? Like when, when you when you're just not gonna leave until you get yours. You're not going nowhere until you give me my shit. I'm gonna be right here. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I'm gonna stay. When I see young actors and they're like, "Yo, I wanna, what's you know, what do I need to do?" I'm like, "Stay. Mm-hmm. Just keep going." You know, it could it could turn in one job like your whole life could change. Mm-hmm. And um, girlfriends definitely was one of those jobs for me. Like, changed a lot. Do Do you think a lot of people was like, "Oh snap, I ain't seen him in a long time." When on girlfriends? No, no. That's point. how I felt. I was like, "Oh snap, Raheem." <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know what other people think. Okay. Um, like even now, people say that, and like I'm working constantly, but mm-hmm. doing. I'm writing, I'm directing, I'm, you know, doing indie films, doing, you know, I, I'm not responsible for, for what somebody else is watching happens. Gotcha. Even now there's so much, there are so many platforms, there's so many different things to watch. Like either you catch it or you don't, mm-hmm. but as a creative entity, you know, you, your responsibility is to keep creating, mm-hmm. you know, but girlfriends was dope, bro. It was a super great dope job. Mm-hmm. It was such a fun place to work um everybody was big time committed um to the how show. many seasons was you on on that six out of the okay eight. yeah cause i do remember it was a lot of seasons okay i'm listening um, golden brooks was was a great scene partner i think maya and darnell were, were kind of fly as a, as a black couple on tv mm-hmm. um yeah so it was a, it was a great experience it was that was dope so so and recently um jim jim jones is like a good uh, friend of the show here, and um, when you did, I guess the drama reboot of Juice, he was the director. Um, how was that? Like having, uh, you know, a, a artist as Jim Jones be a director. Do you think he was great at it? Do you think he needed a little bit more work? Nah, I enjoyed my time with Jim Jones. Okay, um, he passed you the blunt. Dip set. He passed you the blunt? Like, he was like, yo, I don't really smoke high that. tolerance? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't smoke. So. Neither do I. But if, if Jim passed me, so I probably would be like, nah, I didn't. Okay. But I mean, Dave East was up there. Like, uh-huh. It was a lot. Of, yeah, it was cool, man. We had a good time. Um, That's the thing. Like, what you see in the media as far as how people are mm-hmm. in these characters that they create in, in this sort of like, persona that they present to the public that's not always not it's not about like keep it real but like you sometimes you have to present especially in hip-hop you got to present this thing you know this bigger than life character like jim jones was mad cool Mm -hmm. and it was it was interesting for me to have people like that and people like davies like the first time i met davies he was they he pulled up in his jeep in Mm Harlem, right right before his first album dropped, like, to get a picture with me, you know? So, like, the respect from from that right there is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, the love. Do you think this was your best body of work? Juice. Um, I think I've done better work mm-hmm. as this, an Is this your most popular? Big time. Hell okay. Yeah. By far? I would think so, okay. yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's stunning, how this film, like, do you know the Schomburg Center in Harlem? Yes. So, Juice is part of the archive. Yeah. In Schomburg, like, a few years back, they sent out letters and, and let us know that this film was being added to the Schomburg Center archives of film. So that means you're, like, officially part of the culture. Mm-hmm. Like, they're, I, they're, they're including you. They're identifying you as culturally relevant to our people. Mm-hmm. Like, like. If you're black, you need to know what this is. Yes. And it will forever be. A t- it was a huge compliment. Um, it was incredible to me to think like that, that like I'm part of something like that, you know. Did you ever see this? I don't know if, if I had like an exclusive picture, but I'll, this might be the regular one, correct? Yeah, I think so. Power, respect, juice. How far will you go to get it? When um, did you ever go to the movies to see it, like regular, like go yourself, not the premiere, 
like go let me go look at you know one one of the flash things that ever happened to me before this came out was going to the movies with my boys and the trailer for juice came on and we did not know that it was gonna mm -hmm. come up and these motherfuckers went crazy it was just like oh shit think about it bro because you do the flick and then it takes they time. edit it and like and you don't know when it's gonna get released. Warner Brothers ain't talking to you, ain't calling you, letting mm -hmm. you know what. So you're like, you kind of forget, like, like did that really happen? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we just at the movies chilling. Like, and come, on, come, on. come on, and you're like, oh shit, this is about to go down. This is uh -huh. <laughs> my boys got so hyped, bro. It was really a fun moment. Um something that I'll always remember. Like it, it was Do do you get hired? To to do like um let's say like parties and, and things like that like you know no just, okay. no no I mean I, I mean I guess I have been um hired to make appearances and shit like that but that's what I mean yeah of, okay off of you know the juice of that but um and who you are but uh well because maybe people don't know how to get in contact with you well no it's not that. I mean, uh, is that something that you're really interested in and wanting to do? All the time? I'm really not social. I'm pretty like that. sure that people want to do this because this, this. No, all I'm saying is, do I want to do it? Okay, my bad. Oh, talk, you, talk. Yeah, I, I forgot you from New York, man. Go ahead, talk there. Well, <laughs> um, all money's not good money, mm -hmm. and I can honestly say, and I know it's gonna sound strange, but that's not like my primary motivation. Like, I, I never was like. One of them cats that was like, ooh, I want to make this much money or by this time I need to have this, you know. Money was always kind of like this weird concept to me. Fame, too. I, I, I never really was that interested in being famous, you mm -hmm. know. Um, these are things that were products of, of, of how I was walking in the world, you know. Becoming a little bit famous, getting a little bit of money and, and being able to live a civilized life. What it is about is freedom, though. That was always a motivating factor. Mm -hmm. You know, doing something that was going to allow me to kind of stretch out and give me space to kind of be who the fuck I wanted to be, whatever that is, mm -hmm. you know, and not, not have too many restrictions on me. And it turned out to be acting. Did you ever see, uh, see the movie Paid in Full? Yeah. Because uh, I think that, like, these two films, like, uh, for New York, it's I was, like I, I was I was the director's first choice to play Alpo. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's funny because you asked me that question before. That was another one that got away. Okay. And that would have been a <laughs> fly cast right there. Oh, then know. see, and then it was like, dag, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Cameron, no, no, dis no disrespect to Cameron, but like, do do you do you I feel would, I that I had something for that? Yeah. Do you feel that now that um like let's say rappers or or, or um, different type of entertainers than actors, are they getting um, an easy way to just jump on um, movies and stuff like that? No, this, this, nothing's easy. Nothing's easy in the entertainment industry. But it's just a different vibe. You're going to get a different tone if you put three actors together, three season and, and, and three good actors together. Mm -hmm. One, if you put two actors and a rapper together, like, it shifts a little bit. The okay. whole tone and vibe shifts a little. I'm not going to say better or worse. Sometimes it might kick it up a notch as far as energy-wise. But generally, performance-wise, you're going to get something a lot more um, concentrated and focused when you've got three seasoned actors as opposed to, like, two actors and a rapper, I would say. I would think. When you get a script, how long does it take for you to... Uh, not long. Uh, normally, how long do it take for you to memorize this script? Like, do they say, hey, you got to go tomorrow, go on set? I don't ever memorize anything. So you just, do do directors let you, uh, what they call it, freestyle? I, I at the, at this what point, they call it, improvise? At this point, I do get some leeway. Um, what I would say is I know I know the text. I know the scene. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very good at, at, at knowing my lines. As far as memorizing my lines, never. I generally go in feeling like I don't really know it that well, but... I, I know my lines. So, I'm, so very, I'm very prepared. What, if, what if the director like, nah, man, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted you to say this. Well, I've, I've never had that experience because okay. I'm, a, I'm a thorough actor. I'm okay. very well prepared. Um, 
I'm a consummate professional. I show up on time. I've done my homework. Um, I'm well-mannered. I'm well-traveled. I'm well-read. Mm -hmm. When I show up on set, I'm going to earn my money. Um, my, my goal is to always make the powers that be feel like they should have paid me more. Mm. That's mm. the goal. I try to go up in there and Jalen Brunson them. You know what I mean? Like, hit them with that. Is they be mad. They, I've all, every dime I've ever earned had to beg for it because I'm black. And it's mm -hmm. like they, they're already high paying. yellow black, but you, yeah, you no, are I'm, black. I'm black. Black mm -hmm. is black. Um, no, nah, but you, you light skin, light skin, you do get a little bit leeway and stuff like that's that. It's all good. I'm like, down with you, I'm pretty sure, like, I, like, when this came out, more, the, more of the girls liked you also. That's why they picked you the one to have all the girls and stuff like that. I don't know. Omar. Well, Omar I did have love. the chick too. He did. He had uh, the sex scene too. You we did. So jealous. Of him yeah, well, um, too. Shorty from Involve. Oh my god. Ooh, and well, you had to watch him kiss her. I about forgot about that. that. Shit. Oh All man. All of us. We was like this one. That was the biggest thing I was mad about. I remember that. Oh. He don't know what to do with that. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, it, I don't I don't know. Um. You know, I am I'm, I am sort of the chairman of the board of Team Light Skin, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really, I think black is black, you know? And as far as economics goes in the entertainment industry, that's for damn sure. Nah, yeah, right. We are not <laughs> okay. getting that pay scale. It's uh -huh. different for us. So with the, going in with that in mind, I was like, all right, I'm not going to be bitter about the fact that I'm not getting my rate, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I'm going to go in so prepared that I'm gonna make them feel bad. So about you you do back. think that in in Hollywood or, or in I guess the the film industry, cause you black, they try to lowball you? I don't think that. I know that. Oh, they do. What country you live in? I I've never I've, I've the, the television I've done I've I've gotten what I wanted, but I, well I don't know what my counterparts were maybe, <laughs> but I never did like movies and stuff like that. In All addition right. to being a black man. I don't think so, only because, like I said earlier, they were not checking for me in Hollywood. They didn't care about Jews. They really didn't. I, I honestly thought that we were going to be making these films for a minute. We had Boys in the Hood, we had Jews, mm -hmm. a menace to society, and they were all popping. Like, I was like, I thought we were going to... And as soon as they saw that actually there was power in this, my feeling is that Hollywood thought that young black kids were going to be afraid of Bishop. Like, that they were going to learn, ooh, don't play with... They were shocked when they realized, like, oh, shit, Bishop is, like, Superman of these kids. Mm -hmm. Like, they loved him. They were like, what is that about? And then they started realizing sort of the power of that. The anti-hero is, yeah. is a thing. I mean, honestly, they stopped making those films. They stopped. So, no, you, you we didn't have an opportunity to really kind of get pigeonholed because they just, a lot of... A lot of those just couldn't even find work. Um, you had to kind of reinvent yourself. Luckily, I'm, I was light skinned and I could. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to get back to the black getting less. I didn't notice, man. I didn't notice because they, a lot of the black actors, they, you know, you know, you go to Hollywood, and anytime I go to California, it's Tyrese. And and, uh, and 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 let my guy Tyrese Jamie, will be the first one to tell you Jamie Fox, you know, which, but they got the big houses, they they got the parties. But the comparatively, okay. The the pay scale is different. I mean, until you're like Jamie and you've got an Oscar on your shelf, like, and still you're negotiating heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like that. I mean, look at Lamar Jackson right now. I mean, it it, it mm. doesn't make sense, bro. Uh, well, why be in Hollywood then? I'm not in Hollywood. You see my ass is sitting here right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this is this is Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> in apartment 5H, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we did. <yeah. laughs> but, that, but that's literally, you know, 
Where do you feel comfortable? Where do you feel safe? Where do you mm -hmm. feel at home? Where do you feel appreciated? Where do you feel embraced? Go there. I mean, as soon as we were done shooting for Colored Girls, we shot half of that here, and the other half we shot in Atlanta on Tyler Perry's studio lot. And that was the first time I'd ever been there. That was impressive. Um, I was here shooting. It was like the beginning of summer. I got so much love on the street, uptown. I was like, it's time to come home, man. Like, I never felt at home in L.A. Just because of when it's obvious. Um, like, you seeing somebody quietly shitting on you with a smile on their face. Like, like I don't know. Like I said before, all money is not good money. Mm -hmm. and, and if you are motivated by money and you're constantly getting money, you might feel good about that. You might like be like, all right, fuck it. You know, I'm still getting paid. <sighs> nah, I don't know. I never felt good about it. I always felt a little salty about it. You know, did. I mean, knowing, knowing in the middle of a negotiation, at the beginning of a negotiation, someone asks you what your rate is and you tell them your rate. Mm -hmm. And then the next counter is well below your rate like right out the gate, it's like, so why are you asking in the first place? Why don't you just start there? Where you was about to, uh-huh. So now I already feel like a certain kind of way. And it was, that was consistent. In, in so why, why don't say no and just don't do it and, and just. Because you have to work. There's but then you're going to keep getting the, the and low that's end. Exactly, that's exactly what happens until you turn into Denzel Washington or, or Jamie Foxx. Or well, so then, let me say this, then some people say, why don't do it yourself? There's so many ways that you could put your own content out and things like that and where you don't are, need the machine. Doing that. People are doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm writing now. I'm, you know, directing I'm just talking about others. all black actors, Latino, Asian, whoever, like all, you know, just put your own content. There was out. a film, um, Nat Turner. He did the Nat Turner film. That was the um I know what you're talking about. I forgot his name. Nate. Nate? Is it Nate? Nate Parker. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Thank you. Ooh, that's that's it. Kobe. That's it. <laughs> Nate Parker. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nate Parker. So yeah, do it yourself. He did it himself. That Nat Turner film was fire. Yes. They blocked him immediately. Mm -hmm. I did I did hear that. I did hear that. I did hear that. But how could it block There's you? There's a system in place that's making a, a, a gajillion dollars. But block them how? All of a sudden, this, this, this case came up, sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> this sexual assault case came up from college. Mm -hmm. Now, he's been making movies with these people for all these years. So, Beyond the Lights, what was that film he did? He did a film, I think, called Beyond the Lights with, you know, he played a big studio picture. And it's like, well, how come that, you know, that sex case, the sexy old assault case didn't come out when he did that movie for y'all? Mm -hmm. Now when he's doing his own shit and it's popping, it now all of a sudden there's a sexual assault. Like, me and my sister had an argument about it. She's like, I'm not going to see that shit because he's a rapist. And I was like, all right, one, he's not a rapist. He was not arrested for He was not... You know, he didn't go to jail for this. They went to court. He was found not guilty. Mm -hmm. So how is, he, how is he a rapist? And this happened nine years ago or something. I was like, this is so to block him right now, to block his progress. And I mean, in the next film he did, came out, he did that one too. It did okay. But again, there's a system. In, if you've got a system in place that's making you a bunch of money, and you see somebody coming along that's going to fuck with the movement of that system. Aren't you going to do something about yeah, it? But, but, uh, I, but would you yes. or would you? Right, yes. right. You're like, hold up. But who's that in dude? the same sentence, I always feel like consistency is the key. So if you keep, you know, just keep being consistent. And, yeah, and but you don't have money to do it like that. Not against a machine that can put you in court for 20 years. Like, you don't. Mm -hmm. There's no way for you to distribute your film because they got the shit on lock. There's no way for you to like get a crew or to get the right people because all of a sudden they're working because these people have put them to work just to make sure that your folks ain't, you know, ride for you. Like it's a, there's so. I mean, 
I don't know. Everybody has a life and it has done some shit. But like, what's my man that just did Creed three? Michael B. Nah, not not Michael B. Jordan. The other dude. I just met him too. I took a picture with him too. Um, you asked him for the picture? I did. Okay. Yeah. Because I think. Majors. Yeah, Jonathan Majors. I think he's an exceptional actor. Mm-hmm. Um, and and he was booking everything. You know, and all of a sudden now he's got this sexual assault case and his his career has just like taken a nosedive. His management dropped. Well, so him, his, so you know. so is it is it within us as the uh, I'm using urban because a lot of times we say black. He got into that. a scuffle with his girl in a fucking cab, bro. I'm not saying that. that shit happens all the time. She grabbed his phone, he took the shit back, he probably pushed her into the window. So, but it's not like he like threw her down in the street and beat her ass. Like, they had a little scuffle in the car, in the cab. He called the cops and got arrested. Yo, you just gave me, like, the Raheem vibe. Bro, shit, but it's you know so crazy. Like, the way so you was like this. Me, yeah. All we got to do is go to old right. man Willis. What the fuck is it? Quick, quick. But I'm just telling <laughs> All I'm saying is that it, it feels, like, very convenient, you know, when this guy's ready to... Make the next step, like mm-hmm. into like superstardom, that they're gonna like not only. So why do you think that happened to him? Because he's black and it's yeah. Convenient. But what? There's a whole bunch of black people. Why they targeted him? What? what because do you think he, he just was in three major motion pictures. He Understand. was in Ant Man. He was in Creed three and something else. Um, HBO out the ass. Like he's been killing it. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's it's a it's a warning. Just like they used to hang niggas from trees and let, leave them there just so that we saw and we were like, all right, see, That's stay in your you. fucking place. Uh-huh. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a warning shot. So do you, you, do, you think Be careful. They, do you think they only do that to blacks or do they do that to Asians, Latinos? I think black people are the most convenient. Especially so why? Since, since we're the most uh, upwardly mobile, like we're we're the we're the most vocal. We're, I mean, the culture, the culture, anything popping is birthed from us, mm-hmm. like period. So culturally, there's no way for us to not be relevant, especially in this country. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if anybody's going to be made an example of, it's going to be us. Mm-hmm. Do you think that is because um, some people say, I guess, um, you know, blacks don't don't unite, you know, and why I say that is because, again, I, if they, you know, putting um, a whole bunch of things on this man and, you know, and I don't know the whole story, but if he had a scuffle with his girl, she was in his, I'm, I'm his in Instagram no way, I'm DM. in no way condoning the violence that happened. Mm-hmm. But in the grand scheme of things, this is something fairly normal argument between two people but and some people do it make his it right girl, his girlfriend's white he's black okay it happened at a time when he's got a lot of cameras so she probably said something she, she was just like oh my god he hit me well if your ass sound like if her? cops uh, i don't know okay i, mean, uh, I don't know maybe but okay. i don't think so <laughs> um <laughs> but if if the cops show up you know did he did he if there's a scratch, if they see any, you know, they can do what they want. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's exactly what happened. So you got to be really careful. I don't, I don't, that's another thing. Like, like I said, when I did you, so it's 27. So you're an adult. You understand things a little better. Mm-hmm. Like knowing, like, if you're famous, famous, you really got to be careful about how you move. I don't mm-hmm. want to live like that. I want to be able to kind of just do move my thing. On. Yeah. You know, live. Be able to make mistakes and not get, you know, dragged for it. But what would you say to, um, uh, I guess. I met, I met the dude, okay? I can show you my phone right now. We took a picture together and literally walked did over. Did you post it on Instagram? No, I did not. Why not? You supposed to post a tag like, ah, I did it my for guy. Me. I, did, nah, I did it for me, not for, okay. for, for Instagram. Okay. Um, and again, there's two people. I, I, didn't, I wasn't going to act, yo, can I post this? Well, when you take a picture, people normally think you're going to well, post on social media. I just asked if I could take a picture. We chopped it up a little bit. Oh, okay. And um, that was that. But he you seen, asked him what happened in the cab? No, it was before that. Oh, okay. So you get a, a sense of a person's vibe and like what they're about when you meet them. Mm-hmm. And if you have a moment to speak with them, yeah, he didn't strike me 
as like that dude at all. Mm -hmm. At all. Very respectful, well spoken, chill, smart, like cool people. He probably knew you was Raheem from Juice. He definitely did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely did. That carry weight, baby. Well, you know, what I'm saying? You know um, yeah, if it's something that motivates you to kind of do what you do, yeah, you have, <laughs> you have an appreciation for it. Uh -huh. um, a level of respect, which is kind of dope. But, like, I, I hate to see what's happening to him. Do you know, do you know Woody Allen's history? Uh, uh, for my understanding, um, he adopted a little girl or something like that. And him and, his, married wife, the him little and girl. his wife adopted a little girl. And then he, start, then he married the little girl that he... he He's uh, married to her right now. Okay, yeah. So the little girl that he adopted. Yeah. Right? I, I, would, I would love to see Denzel Washington try some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Or Jamie Foxx. Or Will Smith. or Well... Like, you, no, but, like, you would not be able to work again. They would end your career, and he didn't even miss a beat. Do, do, do you didn't, feel... Bro, didn't miss a beat. Do you feel that urban people are too forgiving? So when I say that, meaning, you know, okay, the urban people say, yo, we're not going to see Woody Allen films because that's what he did. Let's boycott all his films. But urban people don't know what Woody Allen did. Because it wasn't broadcast over the media. So now... Like, like Jonathan Major's situation was. Just wasn't. He wasn't... Woody Allen was not hung from a tree. I'll put it to you like that. So why For don't, did, why don't urban people funk. do the hanging? Because we don't run the media like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, I mean, I, I think there's a, there's a judgment system that... that Happens within the culture, you know. I think it's I think it's been a little diluted now, but before, like in the nineties, you know, it mm. was a different sort of judgment system. You know, I remember in the source, you know, how many mics your album got, like, you know, mm. that was a thing. That's not a thing anymore. You know, you could put an album out and it's how many views is it, and it could still be trash though, but it got two million views. All right. Whatever. Well, I mean, you gave me an eye opener. I didn't know that. Um, that uh, still to this day, um, I guess urban. And I'm using urban. Um, you know, actors, actresses, um, get you know a, a slimmer shake. It's not urban. It's deal. black people. Okay. Ask, ask Viola Davis about it, mm -hmm. and she's a a huge star. Mm -hmm. And she'll be the first one to tell you, my money compared to Meryl Streep's money is not close. But career-wise, accolades-wise, kind of close. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference. Look, it's America. That's, uh, like, we started with no pay. Mm -hmm. Like, literally. So, yeah, there's a vibe, like, why are we paying them? Like, mm -hmm. That don't make no damn sense. Don't they work for free? Well, that's an eye opener. Well, maybe I ain't doing better, no Hollywood you stuff. Better open your fucking eyes, <laughs> bro. Like, uh, yeah, man. I mean, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Figure it out. Work around it. Find a way to work through it. Mm -hmm. Find a way to to improve. You know, the relationships and and. And like that's a big reason why I'm my reputation is very professional. Um, that's why I show up on time. That's why I do my homework. That's why I know my lines. That's you know why I I behave myself as much as I can on set because, like I said, I want them to feel real weird about cutting that check. Like, damn, we definitely should have paid him more every time. Do Do you feel that? What you said to now that some people may say, oh, that's like a house nigga or something like that. You telling me behave and no, this I'm, is this? No, I'm telling me to behave. Okay. Not them. Mm -hmm. Nah, I mean, trust me. I come in, I let them know. Like, I'm going to show up on time, but please don't raise your voice to me. Like, I don't work well under those conditions. Like, mm -hmm. it'll be problematic. I definitely let... Let... Everybody know. Mm. Is there anything about about Steve, you? Steven worked with me. 
Yeah. I mean, the first time somebody raised their voice, I mean, on that set, she got real loose, real quick. Damn. Yeah. yeah. No, but other, no, but uh, otherwise, I'm really fun to work with and very respectful to other artists. But like, as soon as it gets disrespectful, now it's disrespectful. And you got choke somebody. Whatever it is. Yeah. I hear that. Khalil Kane, is there anything about you that people should know before we leave my house? Or that you want people to know? Um You have a new project? Nah, I can't I came in to chop it up with you. I um, mean, I want people to know. I think when I do things like this, people get to see me and get a better idea of like what I'm about and who I am. The work is out there. If they want to see the work, they can see the work. You All you got to do is, is Google it. But um, knowing a person or getting to know an artist and where they're really coming from and their point of view is something that might take a little bit of time. I hope we accomplish that today. Mm -hmm. That's that's cool. And, and to let folks know, like, um, it's okay to keep some things for yourself. You don't got to give it all away on Instagram. That part. All right, man. Good looking, man. My oh, man. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, snap. All right. Oh, man. I'm complete, baby. There you go. <laughs> ah.